on YouTube. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape, or form a fully qualified mechanic, auto electrician, or auto HVAC technician. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. I think most of us can agree with this, and I don't believe I'm overstating the truth either. And both my Aussie viewers and my international viewers could probably agree with this statement. For quite a while now, with the oil price going north rapidly, fuel costs have gone through the roof. Now, around Australia, it's been very expensive. I don't know what the price has been, but it's been over $2 a litre just for ordinary run-of-the-mill bog-standard 91 Ron unleaded. And for diesel here in Australia, the price has been anywhere between about $2.20 and $2.30, $2.35 a litre for diesel. Now, my international viewers, this probably won't mean much to you, and my Australian viewers will probably have noticed a bit of a difference, but since Tuesday night, petrol and diesel has come down a little bit. Now, the reason behind this specific video is I got a comment from a viewer regarding the main fuel tank in the 80 series. They want to know whether or not have I only got 90 usable litres in the 80, aka does the low fuel light come on with only 20 litres left in the tank? Well, I've got a little bit of experience with this one, and I thought, well, we'll put this argument to bed because there's been conjecture over the fuel capacity in my 80 series for years. And I have experience with this. So for this 80 series video, let me explain the fuel tank capacity on this engine, on this car, with this engine, and explain exactly why my low fuel light comes on at a specific number of litres left in the tank. Unfortunately, I've got history with this. One of the best four wheel drives ever made. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's 80 series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech to kick off weekend Saturday's content. And this coming off the back of a comment from a viewer for the old uh, a video I did some time ago, the poor 1FZFE fuel economy. Now as I've mentioned, and I know this by simply by fact because I know it, the two fuel tanks in my car, one, the main tank is 90 litres. The sub tank is 50 litres. All right, that's what I've got in this vehicle. I know this because I've done this twice now, and that's completely drained out the main tank. Okay, and I've only been able to get 90 litres into her. She's clicked at, you know, 90 litres. All right, my sub tank, and I've done this as well, takes 50 litres. Combine that, I have a total fuel capacity of 140 litres of petrol. For my international viewers, gasoline. We call it petrol over here in Australia. I have a lot of people ask me, well, what's petrol? <laughs> Let's not just go down that road. All right, I'm an Aussie. All right? I'm not going to use international English to describe stuff. I'm an Australian. We call it petrol. A viewer by the name of Scott Barbary. I think it's how you pronounce uh, their surname, uh, comments and says, don't you think it, you still have 15 to 20 litres in the tank when the needle shows empty? You probably only have about 20-ish usable. Don't you think you still have 15 to 20 litres in the tank when the needle shows empty? You probably only have about 70-ish usable litres. Okay. Um... To answer that question, Scott, uh, my low fuel light comes on with about 10 litres left in the tank, and I have filled her up from low fuel, and she's taken just on 80 litres. Okay? Now, with an 80 series, and I'm, I'm, this is the same with Holden Commodores of the same vintage, basically the uh, late VPs, early VRs, and some of the VSs did this as well, that... As you go around a corner or up and down a hill, that changes your fuel capacity, okay? I know if that car's on a hill, 
right? And say I've only got a quarter of a tank in her and I'm on an incline like, well, that, I end up with more fuel. But if I'm on an incline like that, the needle goes down. So from, from the fuel light being on, on a level field, I can get about 80 litres in her, okay? Twice I've done this, and that's ran her out of fuel. All right, it happened uh, uh, early last week. I ran her out of fuel. I was trying to get to a Bowser I have that I know is local. Their petrol was cheap. I didn't make it. Um, I had no fuel in the sub tank, and I ran. I basically had to push the girl into the Bowser, and uh, she took a hundred and eighty-one dollars to fill the main tank, and it took fifty. So it took a hundred and one dollars something to fill the sub tank. So that's ninety liters and fifty liters. I was a bit over a dollar. It was like two dollars one point nine or something, I think. Now, since Tuesday, petrol's come down in my area. I don't know about the rest of the country, but I know here in my part of regional Victoria, petrol's come down between about ten to twenty cents, give or take. Okay. Um. So, um. I know that when the lights on, properly on and I'm on flat ground, I have, I've got to put 80 litres in her, okay? When I run out of fuel to the point where the engine just doesn't start anymore, I've got to fill her up, a full 90 litres. Now, at the moment, with my job, I'm doing about 405, 406 k's a week, and I'm having to put in, effectively, 100 litres, because I'm using 90 litres of the main, and 10 litres out of the sub, right? I'm doing about 410-odd kilometres, all right? So, which isn't too bad. And that's a lot of stop-start traffic at the moment because things down here are busy, right? There's a lot of traffic on the road at the moment. Um, and so I'm doing a lot more stop-start driving at the moment than I did when I first started, okay? And plus, you know, obviously with the way things have been at work, the old girl's been getting thrashed. And I literally mean I'm opening the throttle right up. I, I can't waste time. I'm, I'm, I am thrashing her because we've, it's been me, me, and me, basically. So she's been copping a hiding. But nevertheless, off 100 litres, I'm getting about 400, just over 20 litres per 100k, unfortunately. Last week was probably the worst. I got off the main tank, I got 401 kilometres. And that includes two days of thrashing the pants off her. So to answer your question, Scott, no. I know I've done it. I admit I've run her out of petrol, okay? Um, luckily, it's petrol and not diesel. If it was diesel and you run her out of diesel, anyone with a 1HZ or 1HDT, I think 1HDFT as well, um, if you run them out of diesel, you've got to fill them up and then sit there and bleed the hell out of the system with the bleeder valve. You know, you look like an idiot that the bowels are going, oh, trying to, you know, pump out all the air. Um, but no, she, she's petrol, so I don't have to worry about bleeding the system out. I've just got to, you know, sit there and turn the key a few times for the fuel pump to pump all the fuel up to the motor and then sit there and crank it. And eventually she'll fire up. But no, I, my fuel light comes on with 10 litre, about 10, she, she starts to dimly glow at about... Um, there's about 12 or 13 litres left in the tank, and by the time I've got 10 litres left in the tank, she's on. All right, and if I end up on an incline like that, I've got no fuel at all. And if I go on an incline, you know, just even a slight incline, I can end up with more. But I know she takes 90 litres to fill her. I've run her out of petrol twice now, and I've put 90 litres in her to the first click. Okay, and I'm not able to get much more in it. Trust me, I've tried. Um, so it's 90 litres on the first click and the second click's about like 91 litres that's the most I can put into that and I don't overfill the fuel tanks I'm not one for trying to squeeze you know a whole pile of fuel down the filler hose okay so um, 
yeah, she, she's a 90 litre main tank and a 50 litre sub. Total ca capacity of 140 litres or 140 kilos, however you want to describe the fuel capacity of an 80. Um, so, no, I, I know that having done it, the fuel light comes on with about 80 litre, 10 litres left in the tank, which means she'll take 80 litres or the current price at, at one stage there, 80 litres was like 160 bucks. So it's not cheap. I don't know about the rest of the world. I certainly don't know about the fuel prices around the rest of the country, but I know here in Victoria, and my Vic viewers, we can attest to this. It doesn't matter whether you're running a whopping great four-wheel drive like old mate with one or two big fuel tanks or a small pocket rocket like the other half Mitsubishi Lancer. I mean, her fuel costs alone for a 40-litre fuel tank have gone from around... 45 to 50 bucks a week they're now up around well at one stage it was over 80 dollars a week in fuel all right because we were paying more than two dollars a liter for petrol i mean it it was hurting um you know some people will say oh you just cop the price of fuel well when you when you're on the road like old mate all day or you know most afternoons and almost every night fuel becomes a big part of you 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 pay packet and that's what's, you know, I mean, she's, you, you got to account for the fact of, you know, at $2 or more a litre for ordinary 91 Ron, you know, bog standard run of the mill, general unleaded petrol, you know, I mean, I, I know a mate of mine who's got a, um, he's a VE um, club sport. He puts 98 in it. He put 100 bucks of 98 in it and didn't even fill the tank. He got like 40 something litres of fuel, 40 litres of fuel in the tank. You know, so they're not, you know, there are people whinging and moaning that, you know, oh, everyone's moaning about the price of fuel. Well, if you're on the road like old mate is, you've got to worry about the price of fuel, frankly. So in answer to this question, Scott, no, I know the fuel light on that comes on when I've got about 10 to 12 litres left in the tank. And also for those who've been arguing, on, I've seen it, all right, in the comments. I know my fuel tanks. It's a 90 litre main and a 50 litre sub. That's what's in her. So there we go. Um... Something else I was going to mention. I can't think what it is. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have made any videos today, but I've started now. Um, I think one model of 80, I don't know which one it was, had a 93 or 95 litre main tank and only a 40 litre sub. But with mine, it's 90 litre main and a 50 litre sub. So she takes 140 litres of petrol is not bad. Um, you know, some people will look at my car, especially those of growing up in the woke society where in these days in the woke era that, you know, I'm driving around in a gas guzzler. I openly admit I am. And would I change it? Hell no. I've said this before, you know, I think we spoke about this a year or two ago. That if you were to put this or this as the VX Sahara in front of me, a 1983 VH Commodore SLE, which was my father's last Commodore, and a VP or VR Holden Senator, HSV Senator in front of me and told me to pick one. I couldn't. But having, having said all that, I wouldn't have another vehicle other than this. I just wouldn't have one, okay? And I know that, you know, big engine, the Mighty 1FZ FE, a four and a half litre low slugging six cylinder powerhouse. Uh, I wouldn't have a, I don't think you can get a better six cylinder. Um, having said that, I think to work on, the 1FZ FE is as good as the Buick 3800, which Holden ran for many years in the Commodore. Uh, well, it's definitely better than the Oldsmobile 3800, but the Buick 3800 is probably one of the best V6s Holden ever had. 
And I reckon the 1FZFE is actually an easier engine to work on. So there we go. Hopefully that answers your question, Scott. Um, I know the fuel capacity in my 80 series. There we go. Stick around. A two-part 80 series video is on the way, along with a mix bus follow-up video as well. Mm -hmm.